Hey guys, DMV Solo Rider back with another video. As you can see, we're flying down the highway. Wait, what? What's that? What? What is that sign? I, I can't believe it. Florida? How did we get to Florida? <laughs> yeah. We're on another road trip. So, it is, what is it? Today is January 9th, and at the beginning of the week, I settled in for another taxing, difficult week behind a laptop sitting in my lazy boy and then I found out that I actually don't have work for a stretch. This happens in what I do. From time to time, a project ends and there isn't a, a new one right away. So you're just kind of off. And over the course of 2020, I've had a lot of stretches where I'm off. <laughs> That's how I started doing this stuff. Anyways, after my last road trip, as we kind of settled into winter, and I was thinking, well, you know, what's next? Obviously, I figured someplace warm would be really nice. And that pretty much means Florida. Um, so I started giving it some thought, and I decided a ride down to the Florida Keys might just be what the doctor ordered for the next road trip. Now, of course, I wasn't ready to go this soon. Hadn't planned the trip, hadn't done any real research, etc. But, you know, for my schedule, if, if the opportunity presents itself and I can jump on the bike and go, I just got to do it. So I did it. You know, I really hadn't given a, a ton of thought to a trip down here, you know, planning, etc. But, I, you know, I, I pretty quickly got things down decided what I was going to do and I decided instead of riding straight through to the Keys that I'd stop in Orlando because I want to check out the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Park. I mean I've heard it's not amazing some people love it I figure I'm going to be riding down here I might as well check it out so I'm going to spend a few days there and last night while I was at my hotel I did some more research and there's a website that I use to find new rides in the DMV and, and you know it's people use it all over the country and I did some research and there are according to this website five great rides in the state of Florida one of which is going to be the whole ride down the Keys but then there are four others that by coincidence happen to be in the Orlando Tampa area so while I'm in Orlando, I'm going to check out the Star Wars park and I'm going to do these four great rides. Now, I don't know if they're great because the users of this website have all ranked them accordingly and the website is telling you what Florida riders think or if maybe they just judge popularity based on the number of times the maps for these rides are downloaded. I probably should have made the effort to find out how they were ranked it doesn't matter so you know let's see one of the rides is like a, a Florida State Road kind of north of Daytona it's short it's like 22 miles but apparently it's really pretty then there is uh, the Daytona Beach Loop kind of where they do their all their motorcycle stuff for bike week we're gonna ride that and then kind of west of Orlando there is a, a big ride I want to say it's through like marshland or something or a nature preserve. I don't remember off the top of my head. We'll do that ride. And then uh, north of Tampa, there's the number one ride in the state according to this website. And I'll put the website link in the comments section below. Uh, it's again, maybe a 30 mile ride. It has twisties, although my guess is they're twisties as far as Florida goes. I don't think there's much in the way of twisties in the whole state. So we'll go and do that ride. 
and I'll, you know, I'll film all the rides and then I'll decide later how I'm going to present them. I'm probably going to do maybe two rides a video, so the next video will be Daytona Beach and that State Road 13, I think it is. And then the video after that will be the, the big preserve by Orlando, west of Orlando, and that great ride north of Tampa. And then the, the, the third video, and probably the last video, will be I'm going to ride from Naples, Florida, all the way down to Key West. And I'm actually staying in, uh, what's it called, Isla Mirada. So it's kind of right in the middle of the string of keys. And I'll figure out how I'm going to do it. I might ride from Naples all the way down to Key West and then head back about 80 miles to my island and then get my sunshine. Uh, or I might just stop in Isla Mirada and then film Key West the next day. I'll figure it out. I'll figure out exactly how many videos I'm going to put up. Um, it's really overcast today. We've had some rain. Uh, the Challenger has like dust and, and rain marks all over it. It looks great. <laughs> um, as for my ride down here, it was mostly uneventful, but it was frigid. I left the DMV. It was 34 degrees, and it was in the 30s. I think until I got to North Carolina maybe it got into the low 40s by nor the northern stretch of North Carolina and I stayed last night in Savannah and I think it finally got just above 50 degrees kind of in the southern end of North Carolina northern part of, of South Carolina and I'm telling you I know I go on all the time about Riding in the winter is no big deal. Just have your winter gloves and your layers and you're solid. And generally speaking, that's true. But let me tell you, when you're on your motorcycle for 10 hours at a stretch, in frigid weather, it's hard. I think, you know, it really doesn't matter where I'm riding. I'm in heaven on my motorcycle. I just love it. But yesterday is probably the first time I went out for a ride where being on my motorcycle was not enough to make me content. Like, I was pretty miserable the whole day. And as I mentioned in, in I think, my Point Lookout Park video, I went over, you know, my winter riding gear and my base layers that have that material that's wind resistant. And it's good, it works, especially on my legs, which conveniently are by the engine. Less so on my toes and my fingers. So I have, a, I have a glove liners made out of the same material that I can wear under these winter gloves. And I had never actually used them. You know, these gloves, they're broken in, they're comfortable, they're a little snug, they're a little restrictive in movement, you know, grabbing the controls. So, you know, I've never wanted to, to put that layer on underneath them. But, you know, yesterday it was so cold, I really didn't have a choice. I was looking for every advantage I could get in the cold weather. And so I wore them. And, and the gloves were super tight and uncomfortable the whole day. And as you know, I have heated grips. I had them on max the entire day. And unfortunately, as great as these grips are, what I find is... To get the maximum heat out of them, you really have to grip them tight. Like to just put your hands on your grips like you're supposed to, kind of loosely, uh, to steer but not to grab the grips and grip them hard and, and make your hands uncomfortable. To get the value out of the heated grips, you actually got to do those things. So the whole day yesterday, I was squeezing the life out of these grips, trying to suck every bit of warmth out of them that I could, and they worked great. But I guess having that, that liner underneath these winter gloves, that extra material kind of bunched up like on the inside of my hand. And by the end of the day, I have blisters all over here. So my hands are really sore today. Uh, the blisters haven't bursted open, so that's a good thing. I'm not wearing those liners. It's like in the, the mid-50s right now. Uh, we're on our way to Jacksonville. 
from Savannah. And, you know, the weather's kind of junk. Um, I, I actually was hoping to get to Jacksonville last night, but as I was getting close to Savannah, we started to get a little rain. And that's the one thing I didn't want to deal with on this, this ride is in those colder temperatures was rain. Uh, you know, the, the Challenger is packed to the gills. I've got my, my duffel bag on back. It's like more like an overnight bag. I got, you know, five days of gear in there and my saddlebags are fully packed. I can't get a thing, uh, another thing in there. And I really, you know, I've got a rain suit with me. By the time I could stop and put it on, I'd be soaked anyways. Uh, I didn't bring my heavy overpants that I usually wear over sweatpants because I just didn't have room for that stuff once I got down to warm Florida. So it is what it is. Uh, the ride was fine, you know, other than getting blisters on my hands and being frigid the whole day. Nothing exciting to report. I didn't bother filming it or anything. And I'm actually not going to really film much more of my ride today. Uh, I'm heading, you know, I'm going to go down to Orlando, check into my hotel. I'll probably get there around 4 or 5. Um, maybe I might ride through Daytona just to check it out. Um, and then I'm, I'm off to Disney World tomorrow and the day after, and then I'll, I'll do my rides and, and film them probably in, in a, over a couple days. And then after that, it's down to the Keys. But I just wanted to film our little entry into the citrus state i don't even remember what they call florida the citrus state the golden whatever we're in florida most of the week here it's going to be mid to high 60s and low 70s uh, a lot of sunshine the keys is also going to be you know high 60s low 70s sunshine maybe we'll see you know once you get into like tropical areas the forecast always has clouds in it. It doesn't really mean much. We'll see when we get there. Uh, but the Challenger, as always, has been phenomenal. Uh, really comfortable all day yesterday. You know, I did about 600 miles, 550 miles, something like that. Um, no issues. You know, I, I did plenty of stops. I think I stopped like for 10 or 15 minutes every hour just to make sure I didn't get butt burned. You know, after an hour riding on the bike, you get off the bike for a few minutes, walk around, you got another hour to go and you're fine. Um, I think around four o'clock yesterday, I was getting a little sleepy, a little tired. So I stopped for about 30 minutes, got some coffee, walked around a bit, woke me right up. And you know, I, I think I pulled off the road last night at six in Savannah. I could have easily gone another three or four hours uh, but, you know, it, it had just started to drizzle. It looked like some serious rain was on the way. And I didn't want to deal with that. So I just pulled off for the night. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got for you on this part of the video. 